Hello, Leo. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading we're going to be dealing with and what they're up to. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. They're about 53 tarot to review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Oh, goodness. Who has a heavy foot? <clears throat> there you are, Leo. Who has a heavy foot? Um, Jumping into this. Hmm. 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 Well, I'm a little curious myself as to what happened right there. Um, they're kind of showing me that things are definitely moving forward and progressing in a nice flow here for them. It's to the point where there's like this emotional buildup or this emotional momentum to where it kind of feels like, okay, emotionally speaking, it feels like they're kind of like in their groove or in their, you know, just kind of vibing. Um, and that's what's so very interesting is that it seems and feels like emotionally speaking, things are right on track with how things should be going for them. And because of this, they're absolutely adamant and determined to kind of, hmm, like let something go or put something behind them. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's kind of like, okay, fine. Something, something's like, um, hmm. They show me that, but. It's almost like they're doing like a double check with themselves. Once again, Leah, with that, that, the glitch in the matrix energy keeps coming through. Um, it's kind of like, what? You kind of do a double take. Um, it's like, huh? Huh? Because they show me that they're, they're emotionally happy and fulfilled. They're pretty good. There's a lot of love there. And they're putting things behind them. But then all of a sudden, it's kind of like putting things behind them leaves them with this interesting emotional energy of like, well, now what? There's like this huge emotional climax and then it just kind of like whoosh, cuts off. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. They're saying some sort of mental as well as emotional closure about something. But whatever this, they're kind of saying with a new, with an ending comes a new beginning. Um, so they're moving forward and whatever's going on, I kind of feel like whatever this chapter is that just closed, they're starting the next one, I mean, immediately, immediately. Um, but they're, for some reason, they're also kind of keeping things bottled up a little bit. And I don't know what that is. It's kind of like, well, what, what passageway did you kind of, you know, walk through? Um, reminds me of like those uh, tribes 
they go through the passageways like into adulthood or something you know the children they keep them grow up and they go through their rituals and their you know their thing um traditions but whatever this new beginning or next chapter is that they've started very very quickly um immediately it's almost like they're kind of keeping themselves bottled up and contained because they're like i know what's in store for me they're kind of giving me this energy of like i know what's in store for me i know what i've just done i know what's just happened or taken place because they made that decision to do so and kind of walk through that passage um and that's what's interesting is they walk through that passage of something and then it's also kind of like mm, i'm not too sure about this and they're also kind of realizing like shit i might want to just kind of backtrack and walk back out um <laughs> So they went through with something that they kind of wished that they didn't. Because now they're saying that they're paying for it now. I don't know what that is, but they're they're going through a hell of a time trying to manage and take care of everything. And it's like the problems are just stacking and piling up. And it's like, mm, here we go. Hmm. Gotcha. Back to the garden, Leo. Back to the garden. feels like the maze runner the maze runner or the labyrinth try not to get caught by the minotaur demon um the labyrinth of the mind So jumping back into this, like I said, is very interesting. Um, they're kind of staying focused on the positive side of life. Even, even when kind of shit hits it, <laughs> even when shit is hitting the fan, um, initially they show me like they're focused on the positive side. But they're having to, they, they also do realize that they're having to be real clear as to how they work on things. It's like you, you can't be all fun and games. You, got, you have to kind of, you know, be a little bit more stern um and serious with how you kind of move and improve and work on things and what you do hmm. what i'm saying is they would rather have fun than attend to the garden leo you know things only grow and flourish where you water them just because you have a garden doesn't mean you stop taking care of things um it requires things of course which i've already talked about um the way they the way they go about fixing things and working on things is like very quick and very rushed and that's what i'm talking about um very very rushed but they feel like if they act quick if they move quick then there actually is still some sort of way that this all can work out um they're like, no, it's just a matter of perspective. Just stay positive. And so as they're learning about the situation, once again, they feel like there's some sort of passage there. Um, but here's the thing. Overall, this next passage or doorway that they're considering, it's kind of like they're they're definitely double-checking themselves first. And so once again, it kind, of, it kind of clicks that it's kind of like, hmm, let me be a little bit more smart. Let me not make the same mistake twice. Um, 
And that's what's very interesting is the two of you do show up side by side. So I don't know if this is something going on for the relationship, the commitment, the family, what this is. Um, it does feel like something is working out, but I don't know what that is. They're kind of like, see, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. So don't know. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign, a fire sign. And that is all. Goodbye.